Hi everyone, Jared here, and as promised, today I'm going to be taking a look at BS The Legend of Zelda Map 2. I told you all last time around that this video would be way shorter than the previous one, and that's absolutely correct. And there's a good reason for it too. Map 2 is the exact same game, same narration, same audio, same graphics, same everything, including those real-time gifts and perks you'd receive as the first BS Legend of Zelda game. Except this time around, um, it's got a completely reworked overworld and all of the dungeons are brand spanking new. And I actually spell out Nintendo this time around instead of saying Giga, which is kind of cool. Anyways, obviously I'm not going to end the video just like this. I do have a couple of things I purposely left off uh, the list last time around. So um, yeah, let's jump right on in. First thing you guys will notice is that I'm playing as Princess Zelda, and I just did this to spice things up. If you're curious, you can play as Zelda in the third quest patch of the uh, first BS The Legend of Zelda. But I found by doing this, it just makes it a little bit easier for you guys to sort of come to terms that this is a different game and just more entertaining to watch, at least I found. So, we're going to start off by talking a bit about why the game was even created. And it should be plainly obvious, as with all sequels, it's because the first BS The Legend of Zelda, and for those new, BS stands for Broadcast Satellite, not some other derogatory term, you naughty, naughty people. Anyways, thanks to the success of the first one, Nintendo decided to release a remix to keep fans happy with their, you know, kind of expensive Satellaview add-on. It was also a play on the whole um, second quest that was included with the original Legend of Zelda, much like how BS The Legend of Zelda itself was sort of a play on the original Legend of Zelda. Um, this one, Map 2, first aired on December 30th, 1995, and we know that it ran for the next three consecutive weeks, just like the uh, original one did. Uh, we also know that it was extremely successful, and that it was rebroadcast at least one more time, but we don't know if it was rebroadcast any more than that, and like with all things with the Satellaview, that's pretty much all the information we have to go on, is that, that's it. We don't have anything else, we don't know anything else. Anyways, uh, let's talk a bit about uh, what I didn't mention previously, and that is to say that this one is bloody hard, and so is the last one. The one where you actually play as your avatar from the town whose name has been stolen is the one I'm talking about, the one with the time. You're going to see it in just a few minutes. Right now, I just figured I'd show you the uh, fourth quest patch. Um, and it's not the time limits or the fact that you have to be at the right place at the right time that makes it difficult. It's the fact that the enemies constantly respawn when you move from one screen to the next. And this occurs everywhere, not just in dungeons. This is also in the overworld. But let's go back to the dungeons. As all of you guys know, the original Legend of Zelda, the, when you start to get to around the sixth dungeon, they get extremely difficult with some of those damn knights. Oh. And imagine with this, where you would leave one screen and pop back, like, let's say you made a mistake, you went in the wrong door or something like that. Just doing that, boom, everything's back. And sometimes you had to re-kill everything just to exit. So, it was very annoying and very, very difficult. Okay, so for the next six minutes or so, I'm just going to leave you guys be, and you can take a look at the very first dungeon of BS, The Legend of Zelda Map 2, and I'll be back shortly afterwards to uh, sort of wrap this up and say a few more words. So sit back and enjoy. <laughs>
Alright, so I'm back. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. And as with the uh, previous game, I highly recommend all of you check out the BS Zelda homepage to find out exactly how you can go about playing these uh, games for yourself. And I'll leave uh, a link to where um, their homepage actually is in the description below the video. And honestly, they deserve to be played, damn it. On top of that, if you don't want the time limit, and you want to play the game as I played through this one, which was through the fourth quest patch, which is essentially, uh, basically makes the game as close as possible to the original Legend of Zelda. I find it awesome, because not only do enemies not reappear constantly, but you don't have to worry about the time limit or being at the right place at the right time. You can just, you know, sit back and have fun with the game. Uh, with the last video I did, a couple of people wrote in asking if I thought that Nintendo would ever actually release these games as part of sort of like an anthology or an anniversary collection of some sort. And I honestly would love that. But the truth is, they've had ample opportunities to do this in the past and they've never released these games anywhere. That's why I'm okay with telling you guys to go and emulate them just because they never released these in Japan. Outside of the original broadcast, these have never been sold anywhere in the world in a physical form. So, yeah, that's, that's it. So why would they sort of change now? I don't know. Would I love to see them do this? Like, release this? Hell yes, I would. And you know what? They just released Earthbound on the Wii U Virtual Console, so I guess miracles do happen. So that's about it, guys. I hope you've all enjoyed this look at BS The Legend of Zelda Map 2, and while it may not have been the most educational video in the series, I hope it piqued your interest enough to sort of convince you to check the game out. I know the next one's going to be the big one. The next one I'm going to be covering is The Legend of Zelda Ancient Stone Tablets, which a lot of people consider A Link to the Past Part 2, or at least they did before Nintendo actually announced The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past Part 2 for the 3DS, but, you know, whatever. So, thanks for watching guys, and if you enjoyed, as always, please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe, it helps us tremendously. So while I'm off working on the next video, hopefully all of you guys will check out these really, truly wonderful Zelda games. Thanks for watching.